The roller coaster car in this problem starts from rest at point A and slides along the frictionless track. We're asked to find its speed at point B. We'll do this using the work and energy equation, which tells us that the work done by other forces plus the initial energies, kinetic plus the gravitational potential, equals the final energies. The initial point is point A, where the car begins, and the final point is point B. As the car slides along the track from A to B, two forces act on it. The force of gravity is straight down as always, and the normal force is perpendicular to the track. Because the normal force is always perpendicular to the motion, it does no work, and work other is zero. The car starts from rest, so its initial kinetic energy is zero. The initial gravitational potential energy is mgyi. The final kinetic energy is 1 half mv final squared, and the final gravitational potential energy is mgyf. The mass cancels from this equation, and we can solve for the final speed, which is the speed at point B. It equals the square root of 2g times the difference in the heights, initial minus final. And we can substitute those values, taking the ground as our reference, so that yi is 25 meters and yf is 12 meters, finding that the car is moving 16 meters per second when it gets to the top of the circular track. Part B asks us how hard the car is pressing into the track at that point. That is equal to the normal force exerted by the track on the car by Newton's third law, and we'll find this by drawing a free body diagram and applying Newton's second law. Two forces act on the car at point B. Its weight is straight down, and the normal force is also straight down. So that if we sum forces in the vertical or y direction, setting it equal to mass times acceleration in that direction, we have minus n minus mg for the forces. On the right hand side, the y component of acceleration is the centripetal acceleration. The car is moving in a circle at that point. And that acceleration has a magnitude of v squared over r and is directed toward the center of the circle, which is also in the negative y direction. So we can now solve for the normal force. It equals the mass times v squared over r minus g. And substitute the values. To see that the normal force at the top of the track is 1.15 times 10 to the fourth newtons.